Um, so what is a buttress? Uh, and in the facial injectable shaping book, I spend a lot of time on facial buttresses. These are anatomic areas that support soft tissue of important elements of the face. Think of uh, like the Acropolis or the Roman Colosseum. You have these buttresses that help support a superstructure and hold that superstructure for thousands of years. We have buttresses too. We have the supraorbital buttress that supports the eyebrow position, the infraorbital buttress that supports the lower lid youth and, 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 and contour, the malar zygomatic buttress, and the mandibular buttress. Those are the four buttresses on each side. Superorbital, infraorbital, malar zygomatic, and mandibular. Why are they important? If we inject the right amount of product, HA gel, or fat at the right level in each buttress, the buttress will push out and support the superstructure, which is eyebrow position and eyelids, cheek sweep, jawline shape. That's why these buttresses are important. It allows us to anatomically define what is deflated, descended, and aged, what we need to do to restore it to create a consistent way of treating and analyzing the face. Superorbital, infraorbital, malozygomatic, mandibular buttress laterally, the perioral buttress, smile and labia mentifold, then what I call the beauty buttress, lip and nose. Following the buttress wave injection allows you to analyze, diagnose, and treat effectively, safely, and optimally.